You know, Spiky, I never meant to hurt you or scare you or make you cry or make you call for your mom. I know how much you need her, how much you love her. I love her too. You know, there was a time where I couldn't even wake up in the morning without her. I loved her that much. I loved your daddy that much, too. But it turns out that we have a different idea of love. Mine isn't as popular. Maybe because it makes me run away and hide and crash perfect weddings and file obnoxious lawsuits. Steal innocent babies. I hope that someday you know everything that your mom did for me and all the sacrifices she was willing to make. That's why losing her is so hard. Because I will never have a friend like Kendall again. that someday she lets me tell her how sorry I am and your daddy too and that they'll really listen and really believe me but for now you're the only one I can talk to And if I have to apologize to anyone, it's you, Spike. I'm so sorry. I am so incredibly sorry. You were there, Spike. You know what happened. You know that I tried to make it right that I was bringing you back to your mom. I never meant for it to be like this. I know you won't remember what happened between us in the car before we went off the road. You won't even remember me coming to see you today, but... Somewhere, deep inside, you're gonna know the truth, because you saw it, you felt it. You'll be the only one out there who really, truly knows. Do you know that they want me to leave town? They think I'm the sole reason that their lives aren't perfect. I know I haven't been easy, but I'm not taking credit for all of their misery. You know, they... They would probably never say it out loud, but they missed me while I was gone, and they would miss me again. Because Ryan and Kendall and I, we just... We have this connection that... that'll never die. And I guarantee that even if they never let me back into their lives, if you keep your ears open, You'll hear my name. Something wrong with Spike. 